Hello, this is Heidi from Women in E-Commerce, WECAI.org, with this today's tech tip. Today's tech tip is how to create word clouds. And I have this great free tool that I found online called Wordle, W-O-R-D-L-E.net. That's Wordle.net that you can go to and you create your own word cloud. You don't download the program, but you do have to have the Java applet in order for it to work. So it will it will tell you if you do not have that currently and it will ask you to download it. It's perfectly safe to do for most people. Uh, if you're in doubt, ask your tech person. So we're gonna create a Wordle. Now here's what some of them look like so you get an idea of what a word cloud is. And I'm sure you've seen them if you've ever vi visited a blog or a website that has them. Um, you can click on those and look at them in, at closer. You can click on more and view their library of Wordles if you want. But we're gonna create our own. Basically what we're gonna do today is we're gonna create a Wordle, Wordle or word cloud. So I'm copying the text on their home page and I'm going to click create your own. I'm going to paste that text into this box and then before I hit go I just let you know that you can also paste a web page or a URL from a blog post here and it will create a word cloud from the text on that page. So you can do it either way. I'm just doing the Wordle word cloud so here we go. I'm going to click on go and it will render the word cloud based upon those words. It's going to ask me to make sure that we can run this application. Don't know why it does that, but does it every single time. And here are the words that it took from that paragraph. Basically, you're going to ask me, wonder, why is it that some words are larger than others? Well, it makes the words larger that are used the most. So obviously on the home page, the word Wordle was used more than any other word, as was the word clouds. And then text probably followed shortly after. And then all of these others were probably used once, maybe twice. So it makes the, it emphasizes the words that you emphasize. So say you're writing one on love and marriage, then you'd want to use love and marriage in different formats in your words in order for those words to stand out and be the prominent words in your word cloud. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go check the language. Now say I wanted to make this all lowercase, which it already is. So I would just click on there, but it's already all lowercase. But say I wanted to make it all uppercase, then I could go in there and I could make it all uppercase if I wanted. Now I want to change the the font and I really like the font duality so I'm changing that it's a little bit more prominent but not and, and it's easy to read so now I have changed that now I want to change say maybe the layout so I want half and half I want it to be half horizontal and half vertical so I have done that but maybe I like it mostly horizontal I would do that and you can uh, make it rounder edges, you can make it st oh, straighter edges or rounder edges, meaning the edges around the outside of the word cloud. I'm going to go back to half and half. I really like that. So it's half vertical and half horizontal. The next thing you can do is you can change the colors. So I want to create a custom palette because I want to use certain colors that are not showing up. Now you can, if you choose one of these, it will render that the color you've chosen. Okay, you can also randomize it by clicking down there and it will change the co colors, the fonts, the background, and it'll just make it cool looking. So you can get to see some of your different options and then probably you'll wanna go in and change it anyway. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna change it to cut a custom palette. And what I did was, just so you can see, I hit Color, Edit, Custom Palette. And four boxes come up. This is the background color. If you click on it and you want to change the background color, you can. I'm going to leave it white. I like that because it makes it kind of transparent when you post it into a blog post. And then um, the first color I'm going to choose is kind of a bright bluish purple. I like that color. So the next color will be something like a bright pink or red. Then the third color, I like neon green, so we're going to go with neon green. And I'm going to leave the fourth color gray. I really like that color gray, although you can change it to a darker gray if you wanted. 
make it a little darker and you see how it'll show you what color you have and what color it's going to change to so that's what we did so I'm hitting OK now you see the cloud word cloud now I want to go back and change the font because it's not the font that I originally chose and then I'm going to go back and change the layout and it's already says half and half so it's going to be like that um, not crazy about the colors so I'm going to go back in and edit the custom palette edit the palette I'm going to make this more of a blue or darker blue give it a little bit more bold and I'm going to say maybe mostly horizontal I like that go back in and half and half still like the half and half maybe I don't like the font so you can change you can play around with different fonts that's kind of striking and then when you're finished you'll want to you may want to print it out if you're going to use it for something like say a demonstration or you'll want to save it to the public library and the reason you want to save it to the public library is most likely because you'll want to get the code to use this as a an image on whatever you're using online so you can do that if you have a tool that does screen capture or if you print the screen you can do your own screen printing and you can save it as an actual file like a JPEG or a PNG file we're going to save it to the public library and it's going to pop up and it's going to ask you what do you want to call it and we're going to call it Wordle Word Cloud <clears throat> so there we go I'm saving it that way and it's gonna another box will be popping up and it says you can you can delete it say it was a private word cloud and you didn't want to show anybody else you wouldn't want to save it you'd want to probably print the screen or find some other way to save that word cloud so now if we come down here you will see where it says paste this code you can copy and paste the code down here and you will be able to paste that code into your blog post or web page and that is how to create a word cloud using wordle this is Heidi from women in e-commerce saying thanks for listening to our tech tip today